the second example we'll go through is um, related to the customers and vendor master data. So we'll look at the customer master data. And the reason this is um, a common request is if I go under here under sales and I go to customer addresses, I have one that I set up here just to, um, so I could give you an example here. So if I open up this default one for customer addresses and if I go to columns here and I click add, um, you'll notice that there is an actual column on here called email. So I'll click OK and I'll add that. Uh, however, what happened was um, several versions ago, they actually changed the functionality with the uh, email and they changed the field that the email address needs to be stored in for it to work. And so this is actually the old field on here. So if I uh, go to this customer record here and then I click their internet information to see their email addresses, you'll notice that there's two different fields in here. So this is actually the default smart list pulls from this old email field here, where I just put an old email, and that's what's showing in smart list. Um, what I actually want is this two. So this is the new fields that are used. Um, they actually work with Outlook and everything. So when you're sending emails to the customers or vendors, it's gonna look at these three fields here. So I have that filled in as an example, just with uh, my address there. And this is actually an, um, save for each address ID. So this customer here has primary, um, and then they also have a warehouse. And if I go to the warehouse address location, you'll notice that I have a different email address in here. So ideally, you'd want a smart list that would show you, um, you know, both of both of those fields, so then you can see the correct email addresses for that customer. So what we can do in this example then is um, I basically created um, this off the default one called customer addresses and I just added this column called address code so that we'd be able to see the different emails for the different address codes that we just looked at. So what I'd like to do is work off of this smart list rather than starting from scratch like we did in the previous example. So what I'll do is I'll leave this highlighted and I'm going to um, click new while I have this highlighted. And you'll notice that when I did that, all the fields are already in my list here. So it actually grabbed it from this customer addresses list. And it has my address code that I added and everything else in here. So I'm going to give this a name. Um, so I'll call this um, customer emails in this example. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional table. So the email address that we want is stored in a separate table. So what I'll do is I'll open up Microsoft Dynamics GP again and expand tables. And this time I'm actually going to expand the company section. So all the email addresses in the system are actually stored within the company. Um, there's an internet address uh, information table that stores both vendor and customer emails. Uh, so that's the table that we're actually going to want to pull from here. So I'll keep going until I get to um, internet addresses. And I'm going to expand this here so I can select which fields I'd like. And what I'm going to do is basically add this this additional table here, and then we're going to need to define a relationship so that we can link it to our customers. So I'll include uh, master type, ID, address code, and then um, I'm going to want the email to address. I can also bring in the line copy and carbon copy if I want, but I'll just I'll just have two in this example since that's the main one we want to see. And you'll notice when I did that, it added all those extra fields up here. And now what I want to do is create a relationship. So I'm going to um, basically start with my customer addresses, which is the you know main list that I started with here. And I'm going to link it first based on the customer number. And I'm going to use a left join here. So that basically means I want all of my data that exists in customer addresses. So whether there's an email or not, I want to pull all my customers. Um, so that's a good way to think of the left join. I'm starting with this table here and I want 
all the data from that table. And then I'm going to link it to my internet addresses uh, table and um, I'm going to use the corresponding um, field which holds the customer ID and that's the master ID. That's just the label that it has in this table. And then the second uh, link that I need to set up is since our customer addresses uh, smart list has multiple lines, so it has a line for every address ID, we need to also make sure we're pulling the right one from our internet addresses table. So we're going to add one more relationship here. And again, we're going to start with customer addresses. And this time, uh, we're actually going to link it based on address code. So we'll do a left join again since we want all of our customers. And then we'll select our internet addresses again, and this time we'll pick address code. So that's how we know that it'll link together and pull um, you know, the right, the right email based on that address code. So I'll click OK now. And now you'll see that under the sales section over here, we now have our new folder that appeared that we call customer emails. And if I look at my results here, you'll see that for the customer that we just looked at, they have some data here. So we're pulling all customers, but then this one actually has emails. So if I scroll to the right a little bit, I'll be able to see now the two email addresses that we just looked at when we were in the customer maintenance window. So we have the primary address code and we have the email address and then we have the warehouse address code and then we have the email address that was tied to that address. So we now have um, this folder in here and of course just like the 1099 information we can add favorites and we can restrict that some more if we wanted to um, and then we could uh, click the Excel button and we could actually export this to Excel uh, as well which can be helpful if you wanted to get a list of your customers and all their email addresses and everything that you have stored in GP so that was an example of um, kind of modifying um, you know, an existing one and then um, adding an additional table to it to pull more fields.